Sacramento activist and pastor Dr. Takoy Porter of Genesis Church in South Sacramento announcing a run for state Senate today. He made it official right here on ABC 10. Well, today I'm happy to announce I'm launching my campaign to become the next California State Senator for District 6. Porter founded the Sacramento chapter of the National Action Network, a civil rights organization, after the shooting death of Stephon Clark in 2018. Well, I've learned in advocating for others that there's limitations to activism. There's limitations to even advocacy at some point, but that you have to be in the room where the decisions are made so that we can get things done and really have uh, give voice to those who don't have a voice. He tells me education reform and criminal justice reform are just two pillars of his campaign. Addressing the inequities found in our health system um, and then COVID recovery is such a huge, huge um, issue right now. The campaign announcement timed to coincide with Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday weekend. To me, Martin Luther King Day always signifies that there's there's hope on the horizon. There's hope on the horizon, something that we should always look towards uh, our better angels. It helps us to refocus our energy on his message. A message of nonviolence that Pastor Porter says is needed now more than ever with possible violent demonstrations ahead of the inauguration next week. You know, Martin Luther King, I believe that if he was still alive, we'd probably call him a senator or maybe even president. That's why Porter says he too is inspired to run for public office, despite the challenging landscape for lawmakers with state capitals across the nation now being protected by armed guards. I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I guess, you know, I just think you need, need to make a difference. I got, I have the kind of can't help it, I guess. I think I can help and now. Uh, might as well try. Right now, Dr. Richard Pan holds the seat, which is up for grabs next year. Head to abc10.com to read more about the race for the District 6 seat.